What's up, my name is Free Gaming. That was really fast, wasn't it? But welcome to the 100 sub special. I want to do a spe special video for you guys because that's 100 is actually a lot for me. I've never been at 100 ever before, so it means a lot to me. And by thank you, I'm going to do an old thing that YouTube stopped doing like 2012, but I'm going to do it either way. It's going to be a draw my life. I hope you will enjoy it. I hope you don't get too bored. But I feel like I'm going to do it, even though I haven't lived that very long. I think it's going to be pretty interesting either way. So let's just start with it, all right? So I was uh, born in 19... Oh, shit, 1998. 3rd of April. Yep. In... Uh, I'm going to try to draw sweet. <laughs> in... Somewhere here. Yeah. In something called Smallland. Out of nowhere, probably like that. I lived. Yeah, my name is David, of course. My name is David Talevsky. And Talevsky, my friends, is not a Swedish word. Some of you might know, but it's actually from. I'm gonna try to draw their flag here. This is a bad version of this flag, but okay. From Macedonia. Now, I don't come from Macedonia myself. I I, I was born in I was born in Sweden. I was I always been living in Sweden, but I have family there. Uh yeah, I have family there. <laughs> I had to fight for a bit, but um, I went to kindergarten at a place we call the Rainbow. It looks you know, there's a rainbow, so you get it. <laughs> And, well, I had a lot of friends there. A lot. Really many friends, to be honest. And uh, when I was a little kid, when I was that when I was that little kid, I know watched... I didn't watch... I watched TV series, but my favorite thing to watch was actually Lord of the Rings. And, you know, I loved to go outside and play, you know, with swords and stuff like that. And I also, also loved to watch Dad sit and play games by the computer could be anything he you know he used to play games like neverwinter or fallout 2 or something like that which made him so cool in my opinion and well you no know, actually when i was a little kid when i was a little kid uh it's see that i already wanted to play video games because when i when i was a little toddler very you know maybe, or maybe like i was um, about two years old something like that i actually went when i was you know i was able to walk i used to you know go and you know click start on the computer because I, I don't know why but I did so I guess I really wanted to play video games and I actually started playing video games when I was about 4 or 3 years old and I played games like uh, Croc 2 and I also played games like Battlefield 1942 I think it is or something like that and COD I used to play COD as well so I played a lot of games and then I went to a first grade actually I went to something called a set, set, the zero grade or something like that. I don't know what you say, but it's kind of like kindergarten in the middle of kindergarten and first class here. You learn some things, but actually mostly play and stuff like that. Well, let's just skip to the, nothing happened there. So let's go to the third grade, first grade. I did a lot of bad things in first first grade. That's that's the thing I remember. I did a lot. I had went in so much trouble and I used shit fucked up so much. I remember one time I was going to know lean for two you know two benches or like tables like that you know you know swing yourself around there and i failed and i tripped on the ground with my lips first and i started bleeding my my lips cracked wide open everywhere i couldn't speak for days and i also i could never you know swallow my own saliva it just went you know pouring out from my mouth it was disgusting also one time i actually uh, i actually cut my hair i remember as well don't ask me why i did that it was a bad move to do that but i, I cut my hair never didn't went good because we're going to party but the worst thing i have been doing i said i said you had sex i to one of my friends i told his mom that he had she had sex but with the f word so i said you fucked you're fucking with your boss so i went in trouble for that as well now, sec second grade, only one special thing happened in second grade. 
that I really remember. It was, I had to go, my school were closed in the summer break. F you know, between first and second grade. So I couldn't go there. So I had to go back to the place where the third, the zero grade was. So I went there. I had no one to play with, so I was sitting and playing Lego with Lego. When I heard someone say something about Star Wars, I used to watch Star Wars that year, so I, you know, I was excited about it. And I saw this guy; he was playing by himself. So I, you know what? I, you know, I, you know, I thought, like, well, fuck it, let's just go and ask him if I could join. And well, he said, sure, you can join, of course. And he, you know, he told me his name. And I think you all can know, understand who he is, probably. It's Jonathan. I met Jonathan that year, and it was 2005. So it's 12 years from now. Well, so then I started in third grade. Now this is kind of where stuff you know, starts going downhill. Uh, I, lost, I lost some friends because my my you know my friends or stuff like that s s came to this conclusion that when you're nine years old because we were nine years we're going nine we're going third grade here in sweden they had this thing that it's not it's no longer cool to you know go around and play with swords or stuff like that now you're supposed to talk well i said you know fuck that and i kept playing i kept being this awesome you know swordsman with my friends and stuff like that. It was just totally awesome. But no, the others didn't like it. And this happened in fourth grade because I started losing friends in fourth and fifth and so sixth grade. Because, same thing, I, I still kept, you know, watching Lord of the Rings. I played, you know, I played Star Wars and I still played. I just played, you know, in general, played. Everyone else was playing football or soccer, which I also did for a while, but no one thought it was good. So I actually, also they thought it was wrong that I actually, I actually went to karate for a while. And I got, uh, I got the yellow belt, which is the third belt. But he, if you're under 13 years old, you have got to do it two times. So I actually did five times before I got to... Oh wait, no. I got. I did. I did it five times because when I was going to get the yellow belt, I was 13, so I got it. But one thing also, I everyone else wanted to, you know, play guitar. Everyone, everyone wanted to play guitar, uh, and I didn't want that. I wanted to just sing, and apparently that's that was weird. Uh, I was actually called gay and stuff like that for doing that. And I actually don't know why, but it's kind of weird. I never actually. You know, I never actually cared about it because I did what I wanted to do. But one thing, one thing, also problem was that I started to get into a lot of fighting at that time, uh, which my parents might might not actually know about. But I went into some fights, and that's not me getting my ass kicked. That this is actually me kicking someone's ass because I often, you know, one. But that's not important. You never don't fight. It's stupid. But as I know, started no, no, nothing really. I also had a teacher that called me a retard uh, and stuff like that. Was this? She was a very mean teacher. Very mean because uh, she was my math teacher and uh, ge uh, geographical teacher and. Uh, PT treat a teacher and she called me a retard on to my mom and you know my mom got freaked out and stuff like that but uh, also one thing I remember I we have we I got I got a little cousin I had you know it was the first cousin I've been having for years I had cousin before cousins before but this you know was a long time ago since I got a cousin but really uh, it's probably it pretty much sucked because just maybe a few weeks or months later we had to bury her because she died uh, which wasn't good because my baba which is a, um, a great grandma uh, died passed away a while ago after that so it wasn't really you know a fun time but I, I went I went through it and I still smiled that's the thing even though people bullied me I still smiled I always smiled 
whatever happened with my with my bro Jonathan, of course, and some other friends, but mostly Jonathan. Now I went to seventh grade, and well, he, I started to do a lot of weird shit here. I stopped, you know, I stopped being myself. That's kind of what we can say. I became someone else. I wanted to be like everyone else. I wanted to fit in. Um, I uh, I was still a bit weird because I was I was still work I was working with YouTube at that time as well. So I was a bit weird because of that for some reason. But it's not the same channel. It is that's an old, older channel, which is no longer active, obviously. But um, um, you know, I I got some new friends here in the seventh grade. Uh, I couldn't hang out with Jonathan as much anymore, which was pretty sad. Uh, I also, um, uh, I was just, you know, started to like everything everyone else liked. I started to be like everyone else because I wanted to, because I wanted to be like everyone else. Well, in eighth grade, shit went even more downhill, and um, I started getting F, a lot of F. F, F, and F, and F, you know, I didn't get, I nearly, I always failed in German, in math, in Swedish, in Eng not English, but, you know, a lot of subjects. I also had to start wearing glasses because my eyesight started to faint and it was pretty bad, but, you know, I still kept smiling. And I also got these headaches. Uh, I got these weird headaches for some reason. And I don't know why. But as um, time went on, my mom told me that in the summer we were going to a doctor. And that doctor told me to go to a hospital and we're going to have an, um, an x-ray. We're going to have an x-ray. That was a very bad head. Let's go and do it again. I had to do an x-ray. So I thought to myself, all right, let's do an x-ray. So we went, we did as the doctor said, and scanned my brain. And I was not allowed whatsoever that day or in the three days after to leave the hospital. Because I had found, they found something in my brain. And uh, what they found was kind of like, they thought it was a tumor. Uh, they did, couldn't know, but they were guessing it was a tumor. Uh, so I was stuck in in my brain, in my brain, and they couldn't get it out because if they would, my eyesight would disappear. Um, so they told me they were going to send me away to another hospital uh, in a few weeks. So they sent me home again. So I went home, and what you know, I didn't think about it very much. I still, you know, I actually kind of. No, at the time when they told me that, I cried so much. I kind of cry like rivers, and I haven't cried in you know I haven't cried that much ever since. Actually, I cried. I I haven't cried. I cried maybe like three times after that, um, because I feel it's so difficult for me to cry because this was such a shock to me. It was kind of like getting a sword into your chest and dying so uh, that summer I, you know that summer I still kept on smiling I was happy I was I was thinking if I die I'm going to live through this summer with a happy face every day and so the surgery came on it was time for me to do the surgery so it was time I fell asleep I woke up. I woke up with this. Oh shit. Fucking. I woke up with this weird bandage all over my head. It was everywhere. And it, it, it worked. And I was happy for it because it worked. And I was feeling okay. So I was sent back home. But the problem was, since that, I was so tired. And I couldn't really know, do anything. So you slept until school started again, obviously in ninth grade, ninth grade. And well, 
not a lot happened. I've got you know I quit school. I started to, I was starting to search where I wanted to go on gymnasium. Gymnasium, which is I don't know what it is in English, so I'm sorry for that. But I I wanted to go on media, the media line, because I wanted to be a director, film director. I said since I was kind of like nine years old, I want I want to be a film director. So I you know told myself I'm gonna be a film director. Now, uh, at that time, I I got in. I got in because I I worked my grades up. I worked them up and I got into the first choice uh, and I was super happy for that because I knew I was going to succeed. I just felt it's going to happen and it was amazing to start because I got new friends and I met and I started to feel like I can do be who I who I am. So instead of being this guy you know this short. I also had also to note I didn't need glasses anymore for that. That was because the the brain thing. Um, also, what they did, so you all guys know, they didn't. They actually went into my brain, and because the canal to the brain and the neck didn't work, it was something stuck. So they actually made a new one, so that you know all the fluids could go down into the neck and you know up again. So that was kind of what they did, and they didn't fix with the tumor. I'm, I'm I still have that in my head. And I will forever have it. So every year I'm going, to, I'm doing an X-ray, uh, so people could actually, you know, people can actually. Oh, the, oh, fuck no. <laughs> F- ah, so people know, so they know that everything is okay. Um, but, well, I, uh, I, uh, instead of that, instead of being that kid again, I actually started, you know, being this kid instead. I started being, you know, I started to get a bit longer hair. It doesn't look this fancy. It didn't look that fancy. And, I you know, I started to be myself. I started to be a, this nerdy, this nerdy kid again. I started to be a super nerd. L- really, I started to be so nerdy. I started to go on a, con- I started to go on conventions. I started, you know, started YouTube again. I started to, you know, do YouTube again, which was, uh, I loved it. I started, you know, to cosplay. My first cosplay ever was actually let's see here it was actually Sora from Kingdom's Heart and it was amazing Jonathan joined me in and we we're all still nerdy as hell but one thing that's important is that I met my first girlfriend here all right I was going I'm gonna call her my first girlfriend because as I counted and she was real. She was really, you know, beautiful. I thought she was amazing. She was wonderful and kind and funny and stuff like that. But we had both our problems. It was kind of our first relationship, and we didn't know what to do. We lived pretty long away from each other, even though we went to the same school and class. It was kind of hard, to be honest. So, you know, it always probably more more went that I hanging out with my friends, playing video games. Why, while she was hanging with her friends and doing other things. And I don't know, I don't blame her or she doesn't blame me, but I didn't really feel like we didn't both, we both felt like it didn't work. We we were just both, we didn't talk to each other in the end and we were just sad on each other, mad. So we quit it. And which, which was sad, of course, because... At this time, I felt like I didn't belong anymore. I felt, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't needed anymore. So, but of course, my bro, Jonathan, was there for me. Always giving me that, you know, that pat on the back that I needed. If I needed it. So thank you for that, Jonathan. You're a true hero. You are, literally, bro, you're a true hero. I mean it. It means a lot to me that you were there for me. But... We broke up. I was a bit sad about it, but I actually moved on pretty quick. Quick, um, and that was in second grade that happened, because we did actually that we went to get it. No, it was in first grade, but in at the same time, uh, a, a little bit, little bit later, I actually met another girl. Uh, and she looked like something I never thought I you know was going to be interesting or something like that. 
But, you know, you never know. You never know what you're going to be into. You can't really say that. She had very, you know, she had this hat on her. And she had very long, long hair covering her whole face. And I, I, I fell in love immediately. And she did it, did as well. So, we got together. And we still love each other. It's been two two years since then, since that that time, and we're still together. And I went into a world I never thought I was going to enjoy. I went from being this kind of you know nerdy nerdy kid with long ass hair uh, that was kind of insecure with himself to actually become this guy with because I have brown hair. Uh, in real life, uh, my real color, but I dyed my hair black. I started covering up mine as well. I started to listen to My Chemical Romance and Fall Out Boy, Gorillas, uh, Gorillas, and uh, Twenty One Pilots. You know, started to be something you can call emo. Uh, and I'm guess I'm kind of am, but not that much anymore. But I am happy with who I am. I enjoy that. Um, but not, let's not go into that. Now, I, you know, my life had went from being total shit to literally go up. And I'm not saying that anyone else, anyone that can feel my pain or die, my life has been the most shittiest. I don't say that. There are probably a million out there that has more uh, horrible experience. But for me, that was crap. Uh, and I don't hope anyone has been having it worse than me, because that would suck. But let's let's just move on. I was happy, but at the same time, someone else wasn't. Someone else was feeling really sad. He needed help, because he really needed it. He never talked anymore. He never wanted to see anyone anymore. He closed himself in. That was Jonathan. It went, I'm not going to say what happened. That's his own story. He tells it whenever he wants to. But I'm just going to say that. It was a part of. It was a time that was very. It was not very nice. But we fixed it. And we're all happy again. Because. Even though. We all three lost. A couple of friends. We three are still awesome. Because we all connect. We all see, we all, we all, we three, me and my girlfriend, Jonathan, we still see each other as family. I see Jonathan as my brother. He was there for me. He was the only one that was there for me when I was in the hospital. And, and my girlfriend's been there for me when I really didn't, you know, when I having had my bad times, the same with Jonathan. So we're all like a big old family here. But let's not talk about sad stuff anymore. All right, we need to, but <laughs> whatever. All right. So in third grade, yes, in third grade, uh, some shit happened. Now my class has always been a kind of like split, always split. So where do I belong in that split? Well, I belong with kind of like the unpopular of the most unpopular guys in my class. <laughs> but I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Uh, I have my friend. And I'm not sure if they want me to say their names. But they're awesome. Um, I don't... Uh, I'm not fuck made of fucking... Oh, well, whatever. That's her eyes. And that's not... But... Because, you know, we enjoy Pokemon, we enjoy anime, you know, Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. We don't, and we don't care, because that's who we are, and we enjoy doing what we want, like we, everyone should. There was a couple of more people in that group, but they left to other groups, and I don't blame them. But it doesn't really matter, because I'm still very happy. I'm happy as hell. 
Why? Because I have awesome friends. I have the awesomest of the most awesomest friends you can ever ask for. I have a brother. I have people, even though it's not my class, I have people in other classes that I can meet that's amazing in their own way. I have an awesome YouTube channel that I love making videos for. And I live. I'm alive. That's the thing that matters to me. I'm alive. It's been hard to get where I am. It's been a rough it's been a rough journey. But I'm alive. That's what mattered to me. And without that and without this journey, I wouldn't be super V gaming. Now, before I end this video, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I hope you all uh, didn't feel this was too boring or cliche or something like that. Um, I am. Sh uh, I really want to do this for a very long time. So I hope you all don't really feel like this was something that I wasn't supposed to do or something like that. Because like I said, I really wanted to do this for a long time now and well even though if people think that this is me just talking about shit and wanting me to people to feel sorry for me that's not what i want quite the opposite actually because i am feeling totally fine and i am happy i just wanted to share my story with you guys so you understand me a little bit better and to thank you all for you know, a hundred subs. Even though it's not much, it's a lot to me. Well, guys, that's everything I had for today. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And most importantly, share this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now, also remember that I am away tomorrow. So I can't really... I can't really you know, uh, reply. So it doesn't mean, or look at people's videos. doesn't mean I'm ignoring you. It's just that I'm away and can't really talk. So I'm sorry about that. But like I said, I'm not ignoring you and I hope you understand. And I'll see you guys whenever I can. Bye.